What's going on guys, this is Elijah here for Football Recaps and today I am back with another college football prediction video and we're going to be talking about the Auburn Tigers versus the Texas A&M Aggies. Both teams are 6-2, the Tigers are 3-1 uh, and, and the Aggies are 3-2 and, and of course the notable wins from uh, Texas A&M is against Alabama and uh, Auburn played a great game against Ole Miss. Uh, Bo, Bo Nix had a great game, uh, Tank Bigsby of course had a, a great game as well. Uh, had a touchdown, almost 150 yards. And Isaiah Spiller is always going to be really good as well. So it's going to be a very interesting game. And uh, as you guys know, that I like to go through the uh, matchup predictor, the season leaders, and just read off the season leader stats and read off the t uh, team stats and then base my prediction off of these stats. And I know I don't think they're always accurately uh, posted on ESPN, but I'm still going to read the stats and then give my thoughts at the end. And this game we played at Kyle Field in Texas A&M, and that's going to be a very interesting uh, atmosphere as well because it's at 3.30, so it's going to be uh, a tough game to play for the Auburn Tigers because it's on the road, and it's in a, a tough environment in my opinion, and it's pretty cool just to see. All right, so uh, the matchup predictor has uh, Texas A&M winning 62%, 62.7% uh, over Auburn's 37.3, and that is your uh, matchup predictor. They don't have the pick center yet. So they'll probably update that tomorrow. Um, so yeah. All right. So the season leaders we have Bo Nix. We have 150 to 241 completions to attempts. We have 1,764 yards, nine touchdowns, and two interceptions. Honestly, after that Georgia State game, I didn't think Bo Nix was going to be all that good this year. But he's honestly played exceptionally well. I haven't really been picking Auburn to win uh, mostly of this year because I just. I picked. I just thought about picking the other team uh, that have the better quality wins. But uh, George uh, Auburn has played really well. All right, so we have. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right, so we have Zach. <clears throat> My gosh, dude! Can I just like speak for once? <clears throat> okay. In three. Two, one. All right, so we have Zach Calzada uh, for Texas A&M. He's actually played really well, and I think he played really well against Alabama because I know they've been uh, debating on like different quarterbacks for Texas A&M. They haven't found their uh, quarterback, but I think Zach Calzada has done a great job this year and uh, for filling in for Kellen Mond after he went to the NFL. 115 to 208 completions to attempts, 1,364 yards. 12 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. That's not great, but they're still winning, so that is good. All right, so we have the rushing game. We have Tank Bixby for 125 yards, or carries, my bad, for 666 uh, rushing yards. Thankfully, that will change after this game. Uh, Isaiah Spiller had 123 carries to 761 yards and 5 touchdowns. So look for Texas A&M and, of course, Auburn to run the ball because they had done a great job this year for running the ball uh, for Auburn. All right, so we have Hudson for Auburn. We have 28 receptions, 375 receiving yards, and one touchdown. Then we have for Texas A&M, we have Widerman, I believe that's how you pronounce it, or Widermeyer. But I can't, if I pronounce that last name wrong, I'm sorry. I usually do not do well in pronouncing last names, and uh, therefore fans will get mad. <laughs> All right, so 25 receptions, 353 yards, and four uh, touchdowns. Pretty good for receiver. Receiver, so he's done a great job. Uh, for Calzada, so that's his number one target, and uh, yeah, it's been a great season for Texas A&M. Not what they wanted; they want to go to, like undefeated, but you're never gonna have perfect season uh, if you're in SEC. It's gonna be tough always. All right, so we got the team stats. We have points per game. We have Auburn 34.9 to Texas A&M to 29.6, so kind of similar almost, but Auburn has the most points. And then the defense has been great for both teams, only allowing 19 points. Uh, for Auburn, and of course, 16 for Texas A&M. Uh, total yards on offense, we have 452.3 to Texas A&M's 396.0. And yards of passing, uh, 254.9 to 208.0. Yards of rushing, we have 197.4 to uh, Texas A&M's 188.0. So yeah, like I said, for Auburn, the rushing game is pretty good because they usually run like to do a uh, read option, and then they just hand it off to Tank, basically. They got a good running back core as well. All right, yards allowed. Uh, this is going to be a problem for both teams, in my opinion, but still, they're both teams are pretty good on defense. They've only allowed less than 20 points per game. 
uh, 356.0 to 329.3. Yards passing allowed, uh, 228.9 to 199.9 for Texas A&M. Then we have uh, rushing yards allowed, 127 to 129.4. All right, so I know uh, some of the fans probably on the other side of the, uh, the teams or the opposing team is not going to like this prediction. But honestly, I think that Auburn, in my opinion, is the better team than Texas A&M. Quarterback-wise, I know Bo Nix uh, uh, out of all people. But I think Auburn has a solidified their defense, and I think they have a good quarterback. And, of course, Tank Bisbee is a stud, and I think that Auburn's going to win by 10 points at Kyle Field. I know a lot of Aggie fans are not going to like that prediction, but it's just a prediction. And if you guys comment below uh, who's going to win this game, let me know because I'd like to hear your opinion. And uh, I think Auburn's going to win this game by 10 points. And uh, I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be like a touchdown. And then uh, Auburn takes a field goal to seal the deal in late in the fourth quarter to make it by 10 points. And uh, I think that they are the better team. And uh, usually I don't really pick Auburn, but I think that they solidify themselves this year. And they have, uh, I guess, quiet the uh, crowd because they beat Arkansas and they beat Ole Miss. And uh, they beat Arkansas pretty well. And that's a good team also. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and uh, see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace out.